the beginning of this year, I moved to Central Florida, meaning I'm incredibly close to Orlando. And despite saying I wouldn't become a Disney person, I became a Disney person. I have the annual pass, I have the stupid annual pass holders magnet, I've been watching the DuckTales reboot non-stop, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts for the first time, and now I'm seeing myself wanting to revisit a Disney game I played in my childhood. I'm not talking about Club Penguin. I'm talking Virtual Magic Kingdom. In 2005, Disneyland California was celebrating its 50th anniversary. The happiest homecoming on Earth was an 18 month long celebration at all the Disney parks worldwide. Hong Kong Disneyland opened, new attractions were shown, and Disney fired most of its 2D animation staff after the failure of many films, including Home on the Range. Happy anniversary! VMK was a part of this promotion, as a fun way to give Disney fans a virtual version of the Disney parks to explore. The game officially opened in 2005 with several open areas, including Main Street USA, Adventureland, and Fantasyland, with Tomorrowland, Frontierland, and New Orleans Square being added on later. The game is no longer available officially, but a group of fans have been working on rebuilding the project. You start the game by creating your own avatar. Avatar. I'm like horrendously picky about creating a custom character, so I go for one of two options. Two hours, or two seconds. Here you go, this is Vlad Goof. Gonna put him right here, next to Owochan. Each land in the park is separated into several areas, all of which play into the theme of the land. When the game was in its original run, each sub-area was limited to 15 players, but much of the time in my VMK is spent with no one around. Unless you run into a group of people playing who won't let you join their pirates game. Oh wow, somebody's actually being nice and talking to me. This is like all I've wanted when playing these online games. Just human interaction. All right, I really don't know how this works, so I'm just gonna walk off. Along the way, you find stacks of comic books which could be resold, meet NPCs like the Yeti and his cousin Jack Sparrow, and collect pins. There's really a lot to discover, and once I thought I saw the entire virtual park, I was discovering just a little bit more. So we're gonna do some resource filmmaking. Because I'm so close to the actual park, I headed out to Disney World with a buddy of mine to make some in-depth comparisons. I like the graphics here a little better. Just perfect resolution. Magic Kingdom 1, VMK 0. Like many mid-2000s free MMOs, which later devolved into apps on the App Store, the fun of playing comes from being social with online friends and collecting items. The way you earn currency to buy items is through tasks and minigames. Jungle Cruise has you going around taking photos of animals who are just popping out of nowhere. I figured once I'd run out of film or gas, the level would end, but there's just an unlimited supply of gas and film littered around the level. Nothing about this game is insta-worthy. Then there's the fireworks show, where you create your own custom fireworks show. I don't know how this one works. The Music Maker. A simple sound effects arranger which has you creating some sick beats. The only thing more tasteless than me promoting my Instagram all the time would be for me to promote my SoundCloud all the time. You know, the SoundCloud I'm gonna open to host all of my hot VMK mixtapes. There are a few multiplayer games available. There's one where you race down Splash Mountain, but I can't get it to work. Then there's Pirates of the Caribbean, which has two game modes, Capture the Flag and Battle Boats. I can't figure out how to play this one too well, and it's hard to get a game together, especially when I don't even know how to press start, apparently. But how does the game in my VMK compare to the real life ride equivalent? I'd say the one in the actual park is a little better. Ooh, Magic Kingdom 2, VMK 0. I mean, you really lose that uh, authentic chlorine smell when you're playing the version on the computer. VMK has a variety of quests throughout the park. One mission sees you going through collecting photos of these uh, uh, three circles put together. The quests have you locating items and characters around the park while getting certain scores and certain objectives in the mini games. It's definitely a fun way to create gameplay from what really is just a digital map. One of the more interesting aspects of VMK was the integration at the parks. I always liked the idea of games being mixed into the real world. 
cast members at a kiosk off of Main Street USA would give players objectives to go and find certain things around the park. Once completed, players would be given a code to receive an exclusive Disney Park item in VMK. I love this concept. Jurassic Park just did a similar event for their Pokemon Go clone at Universal recently, and although I didn't go, I love the concept of games using real locations as a part of the game. Through completing objectives, playing games, and finding hidden things in the games, you gain credits which can be used to buy clothes, furniture, and pins. This is my room. It's like space except cooler. Fortunately, I haven't gotten into pin collecting. I don't need another thing to add to my collection of things. But VMK has a version of pin collecting that's just as fun and a lot more practical than the actual thing. You can get a pirate Mickey, a Donald pin, a pretzel pin. The pretzel doesn't have much flavor. It really is just an image on the screen. But how does it compare to the pretzel at the park? So if I had to say, I'd say the real pretzel inside of the park is better than the one in Virtual Magic Kingdom. <sighs> how is VMK gonna catch up? Magic Kingdom 3, VMK 0. VMK quickly grew a dedicated fan base, but to Disney, it was never a viable product in itself. It was just a part of a promotion. As VMK got bigger, eventually a whole team of moderators had to be implemented. This drove up the operating cost of VMK and restricted the game to only be open during certain hours of the day. After increasing popularity, it stayed open nearly two years after its intended run. In 2007, Disney bought Club Penguin, which was a similar game with a viable source of monetization. Disney is closing the kingdom. Don't worry, the parks are not shutting down, of course, but one of its virtual worlds is. We're talking about a safe social networking site that's used by thousands of kids each day. In May of 2008, Disney officially closed VMK. Fans were outraged. VMK players from all around the world organized to protest outside of Disney parks. And all 11 of them were probably mildly annoyed driving home. Disney has since created other games featuring the park, but none of them have featured the same social angle that VMK did. But alas, VMK would die another day. My VMK is a fan recreation of Virtual Magic Kingdom. It's still in its alpha and beta stage, but from what I can remember, it runs smoother than the original version did. And it actually has a lot more people wandering around than I was expecting. Although my VMK is not officially run through Disney, it's an incredibly important piece of Disney and online game history. Games like VMK, Neopets, Gaia Online, and Club Penguin exist and existed on the servers of the company running it. If the site goes under or the company stops supporting those games, the games cease to exist. It's not like an NES game, which is still playable decades later. Fans like those who run my VMK don't only allow older players to return to something they fondly remember, but they play a crucial role in game preservation. Luckily, Disney hasn't sent the old 1-2 to the my VMK staff and Hopefully they won't. Now that I'm thinking about all these web games I played as a kid, a lot of which no longer exist, I'm getting really saddened. I need a drink. But how does the beer in VMK stack up to the beer in the actual park? It's got a nice hoppy flavor. Now the beer in VMK, well, there is no beer in VMK. So if I had to like select a winner for this, I would say that the beer in the actual park loses this because it's nine fucking dollars. Thank you so much for watching this video. Obviously, Virtual Magic Kingdom isn't something that was created to be a replacement for the park. Please understand that was a joke. If this is your first video of mine, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification button. YouTube is constantly making it harder for subscribers to see creators' content. So if you wanna make sure you get my content, hit that notification button and follow me on both Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and I'll see you next week.